Right, let's look at um, angle facts. We'll start with two uh, very important ones that are used many, many times. So if I have two angles that are on a straight line, then they make 180 degrees. This is because if we put two right angles together, it makes a straight line. And if we turn, it still is on a straight line, so our angles add up to 180. Now, the second uh, angle fact that comes in a lot is to do with triangles. So the first fact we need to know about a triangle, so the angles inside the triangle, let's call them A, B and C, always add up to 180 degrees. But there are two other triangles we need to know about to help us do some of the questions on our exam paper. Uh, one is that we have a, an isosceles triangle where two sides are the same in length indicated by these dashes and the two angles um, that are adjacent to these sides also are equal and then finally we have the equilateral triangle where all the angles and all the sides are the same so with those three facts, we can um, be asked lots of different types of questions. So here's a few. Here's one that involves the straight line and the triangle. It's used many, many times this. So if we know that angle, it is possible to find this angle if we're dealing with an isosceles triangle. So to start with, we know that this angle here must be 60 degrees because 120 and 60 make 180. Now because it's isosceles, means the angle here is also 60 degrees. So now using the fact that the three angles in a triangle must make 180, we can solve that equation to find out our missing angle x. So in solving equations, move something from one side of the equation to the other, it changes its sign. So I've taken 180, and I've moved it to the right hand side of the equal sign, and it becomes subtract. And if we subtract 120 from 180, we get 60. So in fact, our triangle was equilateral. Also, another angle fact that uh, comes in handy to know is that opposite angles are the same. Now if these two angles are on a straight line, but this angle is also on a straight line with the angle here. And as x and y make 180, because they're on a straight line, the only thing this angle here can be is x. And this tells us that opposite angles are equal. So here's an example of where that could help us. This angle is 150, and this is isosceles. We can find all the angles inside the isosceles triangle. Because so this is an opposite angle, which makes us 150. So, but these two angles I know, I don't know them yet, but I know that they're the same. So I know that 150 plus 2x equals 180. Now, you have to add 30 to 150 to get 180. So our 2x must equal 30. And this means that our x must equal 15 degrees. So that's angle facts one, looking at angles on a straight line, angles in triangles, and opposite angles. I hope this has helped.